Jupta Kinte is a Mandinka warrior from Jufur in the Gambia, West Africa, in 1767. Kunta's family supports the Mandinka ruler and opposes the Europeans. However, the Kinte family risks retaliation from the rival Koro family, who trades African slaves for English weaponry. Kunta is brought into the forest with other young boys one day to train as a fighter. During a test in which Kunta must race through the bush in a set period of time, he comes upon a man's body in a boat. The Koros are then seen aboard a different boat, seeking for weak individuals to capture, which Kunta notices. Kunta informs his instructors, who conclude that it is okay. Following a ceremony, Kunta informs his father that he want to attend university in Timbuktu, to which his father objects. Kunta then runs off into the jungle, where he meets up with his lover, Jinnah. However the two are then surrounded by the Koros, who are looking to hold Kunta for ransom. However, Kunta runs away, killing one of the Koros in the process. then overpower him and decide to sell him to the English. Kunta and Jinnah are sold to the Lord Ligonier, a slave ship, along with other Mandinkas, including Kunta's uncle, Silla. Silla attempts to escape while boarding the ship, but is shot in the arm and captured. Kunta and Silla are then shackled in the ship's brig alongside hundreds of other slaves. Jinna tries to leap from the ship one day, but is apprehended and taken to the captain, possibly to be raped. This incites the other inmates, and in order to prevent a mutiny, the ship's crew has Scylla's arm amputated, not only because it is infected, from the gunshot, but also to terrify the other slaves. Despite this, Kunta is still able to begin an uprising, but it is put down, and the prisoners are carried across the Atlantic Ocean to Annapolis, Maryland, where he is sold to John Waller, the owner of a tobacco plantation in Virginia. Kunta is renamed Toby and sent in the care of Fiddler, a musical slave whose actual name is Henry. Kunta attempts to adjust to life on the plantation throughout the months, but he still fantasizes about leaving. Kunta is again able to get a sharp instrument with which to break the shackles that bind him. Kunta attempts an escape with the help of Fiddler at Christmas. He's apprehended and whipped by the sadistic overseer Connolly until he confesses his name is Toby, not Kunta Kinte. Kunta understands he will not be returning to his Gambia home, 